extra time. To be honest, it's actually difficult to describe. Um, it's not something I'm used to, so, you know, every time it really does hit me. Uh, you know, you get goosebumps, you get nervous all over again, and that time you're in the middle of a game. But, I mean, it, it really is an honor, I mean, to have people appreciate the work that, you, you, that you're doing out there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's hard to describe, but it, it really is a blessing. Well done, first of all. In more than 130 years of Test cricket, only seven South African bowlers have taken six or more in an innings on their debut. Which one was your favourite? I think Carl Abbott was one of them. No, I mean, which oh. moment? Oh, which moment? <laughs> Um, the moment for me, I think, was the captain's wicket. Um, you know, that was a very special moment. I'd, I'd, I felt like I'd worked hard and I'd sort of figured out a game plan in terms of bowling towards him. So, you know, finally getting that, that really did mean a lot to me. Obviously, a young guy. Mm. Growing up with the kind of crazy aspects that you look at, looked up to and wanted to follow. I, I actually watched a lot of Andre now. Um, I, was, I was convinced as a youngster that Apparently, I had the same bowling action as him, but I realize now, no, that's not true. But yeah, I mean, Ntini, Nell, um, Dale Stain, obviously, um, those, those were my idols that I looked up to. Um, what would you say to someone like Phil Brain, who sort of moved her and her to take you from the I don't think thanking him would be enough. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. Um, he moved me from where my cricket had kind of taken a dip and he, he brought me to a place where I'm now able to flourish as a sportsman. So, I mean, I think words wouldn't be enough to thank him. Hi. Um, Lungi, just on Peter Brian, um, there's an interesting story where he tells that um, it actually amounted to a fair amount of convincing to get you out of Kuzungu Natal and um, into Gauteng. Just, just how, how was that process and how was it initially to adapt from a shy young man in, in um, Kuzungu Natal to come to the Titans and the Tux and suddenly be thrust into the stardom almost? It took him three years actually. <laughs> yeah, it took him three years. Um, he first arrived in my grade 10 year and he, he asked me to come to Tux and there I wasn't hearing it. Um, but then it, it, it became amazing how consistently he had arrived and keep asking just for me specifically. So then I thought there might be something behind it, but I wanted to see if he, if he really meant it or not. So, you know, I also kind of played hard to get. <laughs> so, but eventually, you know, in, in my metric year, I decided you know, I wanted to further my studies and he offered me that opportunity and playing cricket at the same time. And then when I arrived here, I honestly didn't know where it was going to go. I was starting from scratch. So, you know, I, I just thought, you know, just play, you know, do what you can do and as best as you can. And here I am today. Probably one of the similar ones. I mean, I'd also love this to be a long career. I know many people talk about how injuries have affected, you know, me in the past, but I feel like this is a new start. Um, in the past, I didn't know what I was doing, to be honest. And now I've sort of found my feet. I know which path I'm actually going down and the right formula for me as a cricketer. So, you know, I'd also like it to be one of the, the long careers and, uh, Maybe you know, go down on the honors boards. In the Proteus test side with Kapi Sorabada, there was a nice embrace there at the end of uh, the applause and the hugs and, and the kisses and uh, <laughs> you guys taking all this stuff. What what goes through your mind when you're throwing a ball and Kapi Sorabada comes around as well? And from obviously under 19 level, you would have uh, you know done a little bit of that, but at the 
this stage and looking at the future, what kind of goals are you setting for yourself, apart from maybe talking about who's the biggest between the two? Um, well, you know, I do remember that moment and it did strike me when eventually I was throwing the ball and I knew he was bowling at the other end. But, you know, in the moments of the game, I couldn't really say anything, so it was more internal. But, I mean, it, it really is a dream come true for me as well to be able to bowl with him. Um, it has been a dream of mine since, you know, the, the awards that evening. And just to make my test debut, um, you know, having him at the other end as well, he, he actually has a lot of knowledge, you know, for a youngster as well. But, but, I mean, he is number one in the world, so it shows. And, yeah, the embrace, you know, it did mean a lot to me as well because we had been chatting throughout the bowling innings, you know, giving me ideas here and there. And to just see them work out, you know, it really does show that he is a world-class bowler as well. No pressure, but how long are you giving yourself to knock him off that number one? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't give it a... A specific date, but um, you know, obviously, as a sportsman, I'd also like to achieve a milestone like that. So, I will definitely be chasing. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.